بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین آئی ویلکم یو ٹو دس نیو ویڈیو آن تھری اسٹیج لی اسکوائرز میتھڈ دیٹ از تھری ایس ایل ایس فسٹ آئی ل ایکسپلین بیک گراؤنڈ آف تھری اسٹیج لی اسکوائرز اٹس تھیوری اینڈ لیٹر آن آئی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو ایسٹیمیٹ تھری اسٹیجز لی اسکوائر اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو test various assumptions related to three stages least square so in this presentation i'll explain the meaning of three stages least square what is the background of three stages least square what steps are involved in three stages least square what are its relevant advantages and disadvantages uh, can we give an example of three sls model and uh, can we do that using some example data set so i'll also try to use stata data to run three sls model and uh, then uh, interpret its result and uh, i'll also uh, try to test various assumptions of uh, autocorrelation uh, heteroscedasticity and uh, normality of uh, three sls model and uh, then i'll conclude this uh, let me give a reference of uh, one of the uh, stimulating and uh, earth shaking observation from this paper this is one of the most important papers regarding three stages least squares uh, simultaneous equation of simultaneous equations and this paper was written by zellner and thiel in uh, 1962 in econometrica so those of you who want to learn a uh, three stages least square must uh, study or read this paper coming to introduction the three stage least square is applied to simultaneous equation models uh, in one of my previous videos i have discussed two stages least square and uh, instrumental variable uh, regression so it is different from simple equation methods like indirect least squares and uh, two stages least square because three stages least square is applied to all equations of the model simultaneously and three sls estimates the parameters of all equations jointly that is it is a system method of estimation in which we jointly estimate uh, the parameters of all equations involved in the model Uh, this method that is 3 sls is more efficient than 2 sls as it utilizes more information and fortunately we can simultaneously estimate equations by two stage least squares in exactly the same way that we can simultaneously estimate them by ordinary least squares but doing so requires a three step process what are these three these three steps the first step in the three step process is to regress each endogenous variable on all exogenous variables in the system of equations and to calculate predicted values of the endogenous variables the second step is to estimate the st structural equations by least squares replacing the endogenous variable the endogenous right hand side variables with their predicted values from step 1 and finally in step 3 we calculate the estimated variances and covariances of the residuals from step 2 and reestimate the structural equations using seemingly unrelated regression method this technique is known as uh, three stages least square which is the instrumental variables equivalent to seemingly unrelated regression it has the ch it has the same general relationship to two stage least squares that seemingly unrelated regression has to ols its advantage is that it will be more efficient than two stage least squares for large samples as as long as the right hand side variables of the equation are not the same in all equations it is not unbiased but at the same time two stage squares method is also not unbiased so 
that is not the disadvantage of three stage least squares because both uh, two stages least square and three stages least squares are not unbiased its main disadvantage is that as with seemingly unrelated equation simultaneous equation permits a violation of the gauss markov assumptions in one of the equations to spread to the other equations uh, we may give an example of the clean model and uh, clean in 1950 proposed the dynamic model of the macroeconomics which was later on called clean model and it is described by the following equation systems the first equation is the consumption function uh, then there is investment function then uh, there is demand for labor there is equilibrium demand then there is private sector revenue and finally we have the capital function uh, c is consumption expenditure i is investment expenditure g is government expenditure p means profits wp stands for uh, private wage bill wg stands for government wage bill k means capital stock and a stands for time trend t refers to taxes and x uh, refers to um, income after tax that is disposable income uh, in the preceding model the left hand side variables c i w y p and k are treated as jointly dependent are endogenous variables whereas g t w g and a as exogenous and the variables p t minus 1 that is leg prices k t minus 1 and x t minus 1 are treated as predetermined in all there are six equations including three identities to study the interdependence of six exogenous variables we must note that because of the interdependence among the endogenous variables in general they are not independent of the stochastic disturbance terms which therefore makes it inappropriate to apply the method of ols to an individual equation in the system estimators thus obtained are inconsistent they don't converge to their population values even when the sample size is very large so a simple macroeconomic model relates consumption to private and government wage paid in the following uh, model simultaneously private wage depends upon uh, consumption total uh, government expenditures and the leg stock of capital in the economy although this is not a plausible model it does meet the criterion of uh, being simple so we have two equation this is consumption equation and uh, here we have one of the uh, explanatory variables as uh, wage of the private sector and then wage bill of the government sector then wage in the private sector is uh, explained by consumption by the government expenditure and uh, capital so both consumption and wage in private sector are uh, endogenous in first equation uh, consumption is endogenous in second equation uh, wage in private sector is endogenous so this is a kind of uh, a very simple uh, um, simultaneous equation model and this model as i told you could be written as in these two equations if we assume that this is the full system consumption uh, wage in private sector will be endogenous variables as i mentioned with wage in the government and government expenditure and capital are exogenous data on these variables are taken from uh, clean 90 1950 papers paper so with that uh, i will uh, use the uh, three sls command in stata i'll use this data which is taken from uh, clean 1950 and then i'll uh, share with you the results of the three stages least square and uh, i'll interpret and i'll also test some of the assumptions so with this i will open my stata and uh, the data file so let me i'll use this uh, data which i just loaded 
and this is the data that uh, has been that have that has been taken from clean 1950 paper uh, there are a large number of variables so uh, let me show these are the various variables in this data and i can also show you the data in the data editor and uh, these are the variables these are years these are consumption expenditure these are profits uh, private wage bill investment capital stock total income and uh, government wage bill and government expenditure this is a uh, net tax and this is a uh, total wage years and so on profits so this is a uh, 22 years data so let me minimize and uh, let me give the command this is the direct command for uh, three sls rec 3 and uh, this is the first equation in which consumption is a function of uh, private wage bill and uh, the government wage bill and then wage private wage bill uh, is a function of consumption the government expenditure and the capital stock uh, so basically this involves the three step process that i already showed you theoretically so pressing this will uh, estimate this uh, model for me so this is the command again uh, this says this says three stages least square regression so there are two equations so this is equation number one this is equation number two in equation number one consumption is the endogenous or dependent variable in second equation uh, wage private wage bill is the uh, uh, dependent variable uh, total number of observation 22 22 these are parameters two parameters in the first equation three parameters in the second equation and uh, these are r squared the r squared for the first equation is uh, uh, 0 0.94 and for the second equation that is almost uh, 85 percent that is 0 0.84 these are the chi squared values and the, uh, these are the p values so here is the estimated consumption function this uh, uh, coefficient is 0 0.80 and uh, this coefficient is uh, 1.02 and both of these coefficients are uh, significant based on these values these are the z values these are the standard errors and these are the 95 percent confidence interval after this this is the second equation estimation in which uh, consumption is a uh, uh, independent variable and uh, uh, its uh, coefficient is 0 0.40 and uh, it's not significant the coefficient for the government expenditure is 1.17 and it's uh, significant uh, for capital stock this coefficient is negative but it is not significant so in this uh, simultaneous equation model uh, consumption and uh, private wage bill are the endogenous variables and uh, government wage bill government expenditure and capital stock these are uh, exogenous uh, variables so after this i would like to test some of the hypotheses uh, for autocorrelation and uh, heteroscedasticity and uh, normality of the overall system so first uh, i write lm a reg 3 now this command will basically test the serial correlation or the autocorrelation of this uh, estimated uh, three stages least square so here is the result of the system autocorrelation test for three sls uh, the three star this shows single equation autocorrelation tests and uh, its null hypothesis is that uh, no autocorrelation in equation one and two so on this basis if we check for equation number one the value of the test is 5.4198 but its uh, p value is 0 0.01 so we reject this null hypothesis and in e equation number one suffers from uh, autocorrelation similarly the second equation also uh, suffers from autocorrelation because these two p values are less than 0 0.25 and uh, finally this is the uh, overall system autocorrelation test here the null hypothesis is 
there is no overall system autocorrelation so one is a harvey lm test and uh, one is a, a gulke lm test and both the test have p values which are less than 0.05 so we reject this uh, null hypothesis of no overall system autocorrelation so uh, it means that uh, this three stages least square has problem of uh, autocorrelation after this i'll uh, test the heteroscedasticity of uh, this three stages least square model that we just estimated and uh, this is the uh, command for uh, uh, detecting heteroscedasticity so this is the single equation heteroscedasticity the null hypothesis is that there is no heteroscedasticity that is uh, the variances are homozygotic but alternative is that they are heteroscedastic so the first equation shows this is the first equation uh, angel lm uh, arc test and it shows that the p value is greater than the 0.05 so there is no problem of heteroscedasticity there is no problem of heteroscedasticity in all of the four uh, in this equation of consumption for different tests then coming to the uh, wage equation that is the private sector wage bill Uh, all of the p values are greater than 0.05 so it means that uh, the variance is involved with the uh, the second equation uh, using various tests uh, the variances are um, homozygotic uh, finally we have overall system heteroscedasticity tests and the null hypothesis is there is no overall system heteroscedasticity and uh, we see brushpigan lm test Uh, we see likelihood ratio lr test and we see wall test but overall in the overall system there is problem of heteroscedasticity because these p values are less than 0.05 finally i would like to check the normality of uh, this uh, estimated three stages least square model and uh, the command is lm n r e g 3 and uh, the null hypothesis is that no overall system non normality that the overall system is normal these are various tests this is jarka bera lm test its p value is more than 0.05 so no problem of uh, normality then we have gary lm test this again is greater than 0.05 and uh, anderson darling z test the p value is 0.59 so that is greater than 0.05 so we don't uh, have problem of uh, normality in this these are the skewness test and these are the kurtosis tests and uh, here we have the skewness coefficients this is the kurtosis coefficients and the, then there are run test and so on so this is a very simple three stages least square its in uh, estimation its uh, interpretation and uh, testing of uh, three assumptions that is the assumption of uh, autocorrelation of individual equations and autocorrelation of the overall system then heteroscedasticity of the individual equations and uh, heteroscedasticity test for the overall system and finally a uh, normality system for the overall uh, system i hope uh, this was uh, quite uh, helpful um, if you like this kindly share with uh, your uh, students with your colleagues and uh, thanks for stopping by uh, this is the result again uh, you may check the results and you may interpret the results you may compare the z values the p values and so on for the two equations Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel kindly do subscribe and uh, click on the bell icon so that uh, timely notification can be received by you when i upload uh, my new videos for you thanks for watching kindly subscribe the channel